Welcome to race 15 of the 2012-2013 Hart Truck Series season. We are here in Michigan, International Speedway, Michigan, for a 25 lap, 50 mile shootout. Starting first is Shauna Weidman. Second is Gary Tang. Then it is... Stephen Henhock, Jacob Young, James O'Shea, Abby Churchill, Aaron Mason, Austin Talley, William, William Duncan, Mason Wood, Chris Dollerton, Peter Saviano, Jessica Lawrence, Andreas Allen, Nathan Gibson, Brody Talley, Dylan Matichuk, Jolene Butterworth, Jeremiah Almighty, Adam Gibson, Ilya Bondarenko, Emma Vanson, Connor Breton, Alex Tanker, Spencer Fullerton, Demir Bezhenov, and rounding up the field in the 71 truck is Dylan Shutters. Rounding turn four, the pace car is going to pull off. Everyone qualified within a, uh, within under eight tenths of a second of each other. So Dylan Shedders qualified within eight tenths of a second of uh, Shauna Weidman. So this should be a very close race. And there's the green flag, and we are away here in Michigan. This is the first time since race 11 I've actually been alone commentating. Stephen Henhock moves up into second. James O'Shea into third is Gary Tang, and the rest of the uh, high line is obviously not doing so well. It's definitely not the preferred line at this track. Meanwhile, Shauna Weidman will come out of turn four and probably lead the first lap. James O'Shea trying to catch up, but he will not do so. Shauna Weidman leads that first lap and uh, gets... Uh, meanwhile, they're three wide behind them. William Duncan up into second now. Uh, Stephen Henock stuck on the very high side. Now Jessica Lawrence in the 70 car trying to make a run, but she gets pushed to the outside by Dylan Matichuk. William Duncan comes off to of turn four, and it looks like he's going to lead lap two. So two different laps, two different leaders. Meanwhile, it's three wide for second behind them. Here comes Jeremiah Almighty. He will complete the pass out of turn two. Spencer Fullerton, who started pretty much right at the back, is up to the top, well, pretty much the top five. Jeremiah Almighty trying to lead the third lap and become the third different leader of the race. William Duncan still hanging high on the outside. Ily Bonarenko on the inside. And Jeremiah Almighty will lead that lap. It's three wide all the way through the field. It's like a super speedway because these trucks handle a lot better than their NASCAR, um, well, uh, the NASCAR equivalent. The Camping World Truck Series, my bad. Just couldn't remember exactly the name of it right now. Meanwhile, Dylan Shutters from the back to the front in four laps. Will he lead the lap? Nope. Alex Tanker ha uh, will lead that lap on the inside there. Oh, I think we might have four wide here? No, we do not. Never mind. 
four wide is a very d dangerous situation at any track, but at this track it can it can be especially so because it's not exactly the widest track ever. I mean, it's wide compared to some of the other ones, but there's no grip on that top line. So Brody Tally trying to lead lap five. Become the fifth. Oh, here comes Andreas Allen in the five truck to lead lap five. And Aaron Mason will make it four wide going into. And oh no, we've got a big crash. Oh, Stephen Henhock, barrel rolling, Gary Tang upside down. Demir Bejianov wrecked. Brody Talley, Julian Butterworth. Emmett Vanson. Who will lead them back to the start finish line? Andreas Allen will lead them back. Aaron Mason, who dove to the bottom on that four wide, makes it through and actually takes second place. So apparently that was worthwhile for him. I don't know what he was doing making moves like that on just the sixth lap of the race. But let's go take a look at exactly what happened since I didn't really catch it very well. Um, it was actually behind them where they went four wide with uh, Austin Talley on the bottom, Peter Saviano, and... Uh, Brody Talley made contact, and Stephen Henhock gets turned uh, by Austin Talley, and uh, meanwhile there's a crash behind them, but then they slide into the wall, and he just uh, does a barrel roll there, and Gary Tang slides along his roof before flipping back onto his wheels as well. And that is why four wide at Michigan doesn't work. There's a couple guys who just barely made it through, Spencer Fullerton being one of them. Let's check his uh, onboard camera for this accident. So he's right in the middle of the pack. He sees everyone slide down, actually uses his brakes, and is one of the first cars in the middle lane to make it through unscathed. So good job done by Spencer Fullerton to avoid that wreck. Let's skip the caution. Jolene Butterworth, Emmett Vanson, Stephen Henhock, Demir Bejianov, and Gary Tang will almost indefinitely go out of the race. Yes, they will. Pace car is off. We're going to have 15 laps to go when we go back to green here. Andreas Allen currently leads in the uh, red number 5 truck. Aaron Mason in second, Abby Churchill third, Austin Talley fourth, and Spencer Fullerton fifth. There's the green flag, and uh, Abby, uh, sorry, uh, Austin Talley already uh, trying to make some passes. Here comes Spencer Fullerton, and Abby Churchill trying to move up to second. Spencer Fullerton battling for fourth with uh, with Austin Talley. Here goes Abby Churchill to the inside with help from, from Spencer Fullerton, and she will take the lead going into turn three. Spencer Fullerton now makes his move on the inside, trying to lead the lap. And it looks like he will do so with, uh, with lots of drafting help from Chris Dollerton in the uh, 60 car truck. And we're four wide again.
And it looks like they will survive that and uh, bring them back down to just a three wide battle. It's good that a few drivers backed out of that situation. Maybe they learned from the uh, lap six incident. Dylan Shutter is back to lead for the second time today after starting dead last. We're about halfway through the race. Here comes Nathan Gibson trying to lead as well. Dylan Shutters will lead that lap. But Nathan Gibson will take that into turn one. James O'Shea up into second now. He's trying to uh, have a rebound after getting passed on the last lap at Grand Detour last week. Nathan Gibson still trying to lead his uh, the first lap of uh, sorry uh, his first laps of the race, and he will do so this time. Here comes William Duncan. And William Duncan will make the pass with help from uh, Shauna Weidman, the pole sitting car. So let's check back further in the field. A couple of really damaged cars, Brody Talley and Peter Saviano, limping around the track right now. And uh, just behind the pack are Adam Gibson, Connor Brenton, and Alex Tanker. They may have gotten damaged or they may have just gotten held up by the slower cars. Either way, William Duncan continues to lead. Shauna Weidman will not make a move. She seems plenty content riding where she is right now. I don't exactly blame her for that. I mean, it's second place and they seem to be actually running away with it right now. Ilya Bonarenko up to third. Yeah, Sean Weidman seems very content running in second. Now Sean Weidman makes her move. And will make the pass out of turn two. Maybe she was just trying to make sure that she wouldn't uh, get passed immediately or something. But uh, because they went too wide, the pack is pretty much ca uh, caught up. But I think Sean Weidman will lead this lap unless Ilya Bondarenko can get a really good run out of turn four. Sean Weidman will lead that lap. They're three wide for second. Spencer Fullerton, Ilya Bondarenko, and William Duncan, I think. And we are four wide again. Look out. And they fan it back down to three wide, and we are okay. Or if it sounded like a robot there. <laughs> Sean Weidman continues to lead. Trying to go for her third win of the season after winning the first two races. Here comes Dylan Shutters, though, who's pretty much in dead last in the point standings, and he will make the pass out of turn four and lead that lap. We, have now, we now have just eight laps to go. Thought I saw four wide at the back there, sorry. Here comes Dylan Matuschuk on the inside. Jacob Young getting past on the outside now. Dylan Matuschuk tries to block Jessica Lawrence, but she has a run on the inside. And we're three wide for the lead right now. No one making it four wide, which is probably a good thing. Nathan Gibson up to second with just um, six laps to go. 
This is Nathan Gibson's only fourth start, so quite the noob. Mason Wood, after winning his first ever race last week in Grand Detour, up to the lead with uh, just six laps to go. Six laps to go now, sorry. Oh, they're catching the lap cars of Peter Saviano. This could get interesting. Mason Wood gets around Peter Saviano. This could really spread things out or cause a major stack up. And James O'Shea looks like he will get by the lap cars first. And with them, the whole inside line. And now it looks like they're uh, the two uh, slow cars have gone to the outside, so everyone will easily be able to get around them, probably, other than Mason Wood, who's stuck between them right now, and Nathan Gibson, who seems to be just following them. Let's go back up front where Abby Churchill has inherited the lead. We have a smaller pack, but they, it will eventually reform. Is Mason Wood the last car to get by the uh, two lap down cars now? After coming in in the lead, he will probably lose the draft, or at least not even have a chance at winning this race. Spencer Fullerton up to, I think he will lead this lap. Yes, he will. William Duncan will make the pass into turn one, though. If there's a crash now, they will race back to the finish line, as we have seen in many of the races. Shauna Weidman up to second, as she usually is when the laps wind down. Coming to three laps to go. Shauna Weidman has possibly the fastest car of the day. And they are four wide behind them. I think they've fanned it back down to three now, but they're oh, Spencer Fullerton losing a bunch of spots there. Shauna Weidman still trying to make the pass into turn one. She will do so. Now Chris Dollerton, who is her drafting partner, a partner earlier in the day, will have a decision to make. Go with Shauna Weidman, try to pass. Right now, Shauna Weidman still trying to get by William Duncan. William Duncan with a really strong car up on that outside line. Now here comes Ilya Bondarenko. We have just two laps to go now. Shauna Weidman leads with three wide for... Here, William Duncan still hanging on on the outside. We haven't seen anything like this all day. William Duncan actually uh, getting a little bit ahead there going into turn four. William Duncan maintaining with Shauna Weidman. Here comes Nathan Gibson up into third place. Here comes Nathan Gibson around them both. Uh, William Duncan will leave the lap. Uh, there's the white flag. Nathan Gibson into the lead in just his fourth career race. Dylan Matichuk, who uh, is now into second, but he is not getting any draft from Nathan Gibson. Dylan Matichuk will be the only one to contend for the win with Nathan Gibson. And I don't think he's going to have anything for him. Nathan Gibson, in just his fourth career start, will come down to the start finish line and win the race. Dylan Matichuk finishes. Oh, crap. Dylan Matichuk second. Ilya Bondarenko third. Abby Churchill fourth, Aaron Mason fifth, Shauna Weidman sixth, J. 
James O'Shea seventh. Oh, and uh, Jeremiah Almighty's blown up back there. And Andreas Allen eighth. That was quite a race. So uh, two cars a lap down. Peter Saviano and Brody Talley were involved in that crash. And five cars out of the race from the big accident as well. Average speed, 142 miles an hour. Nathan Gibson wins in his, just his fourth start ever. Uh, race 16 will be in Norway at the Green Valley Ring. Thanks for watching.